And we're ready for baseball tonight on a gorgeous evening here in the Motor City. 75 degrees our game time temp. And now we've got uh, one of the umpires heading back for the Tigers dugout. Ted Gary Cedarstrom. He's the crew chief. No, oh, they're on the phones. Oh, the bank of lights is out there in the right field. Ah. Above the Pepsi porch. Old eagle eye out there. Nicely done. I don't know that they need the lights at this point, do they? Well, not at this point. It doesn't appear, but as the night progresses, certainly they will. Uh, right now, we're without lighting out in right field. It takes a while for them to warm up, doesn't it? I think they have to recycle them. I, I don't know if they can just do that one bank, but uh, I've been involved in situations where it's taken 20 minutes. They have to turn them off and let them uh, recycle and turn them back on. High tech lights, they're very good. Make it very bright when they're on, but uh, they can give you a headache when uh, things go wrong. Well, this is not good for Justin Verlander because obviously he timed his warm up and his trip to the mound to get ready for opening pitch at this time, and now he's being made to wait. Yeah, pitchers uh, really are routine players. Uh, really, they all are, but the pitchers more more than anybody else probably on the diamond. They come out at the same time. They do their normal routine on the field. Then they go into the bullpen. Many of them uh, start. They sit down. Then they then they warm up again. They try and time it so they get into the dugout and just have a couple minutes to think, kind of go over the game plan, then come out and uh, start the game. But that's not going to happen tonight. Tonight's game has been delayed. We have a bank of lights out in right field. They're not functioning right now. The Tigers and the grounds crew. Trying to get this figured out. In the meantime, it is uh, Brad Ausmus chatting with Gary Cedarstrom to figure out what the next course of action is. And I guess the next course of action is wait until yeah, the lights I, come on. I'd push to get going. I mean, I, I, it hasn't turned dark yet, and they could try and fix them in, be, in between innings. And if either manager at some point is uncomfortable with the, the lighting, they can they can uh, you know stop it at that point. Well, we continue to wait for the start of this one here tonight. You're looking at the bank of lights out beyond the right field wall here in downtown Detroit and then just a couple of seconds ago lights began to flicker but they have uh, once again turned off and so we are waiting. So is Justin Verlander waiting for the start of this one here tonight as we wait for those lights to come on. All right gentlemen thank you very much. The good news is hey we have lights here at the ballpark. There's that bank of uh, lights out in right field. They've just come on so Justin Verlander is going to warm up a little bit more uh, giving you and I were talking this is almost if it had gone a little longer like a rain delay situation JV can only stick around so long. Well it's about a 20 minute delay as we stand right now but if it was raining out you usually 45 minutes is about where you kind of start to make a decision whether you're going to go with the same pitcher or go with another pitcher. JV being the veteran, he'd probably go maybe up to an hour, but uh, that's what I start thinking about because I watched those lights. They started, they tried to come on, unable to come on. Come on. It took several cycles to get them on, and hopefully they will stay on and no more interruptions.